Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is find how many sequences could be generated from consensus sequence and here is a consensus sequence and I slightly modified original question. Original question was uh, that I found on the research gate uh, find uh, all the possible variants for this consensus sequence. Some of the people offered to write special computer program in order to find all the possible uh, sequences and uh, my first impression was that there is not so many uh, possible variants and probably this would be much faster to solve this problem just with pen and piece of paper. So let's find first how many different variants are possible for this consensus sequence. So uh, let me write down the sequence one more time. So, thymine, guanine, guanine, cytosine, S, I will explain what this uh, stands for, N, I will explain all this uh, notation later, then uh, G, W, W, Y, N, N. Beginning of this sequence is easy to understand. So T stands for thymine, G for guanine, guanine, cytosine, and S stands for the basis with strong uh, bounding. As you remember, basis pairs as follows. So adenine base pairs with thymine and um, cytosine with guanine. Some of these bases make double bond and some of them make triple bond. In order to memorize which make double and which make triple bond, I want to give you mnemonic technique. This is not scientific technique, but uh, would help you to memorize, uh, I hope for the rest of your life, which uh, bases make double bond and which make triple bond. So take a look at bases C and G. Don't you think that C and G looks almost identical, like uh, siblings that uh, very close related. And of course, those who is very close related has more bounding. So here we have triple bond and uh, A and T, adenine and thymine, don't look uh, alike. Look like unrelated species. So uh, we put double bond here, so they has uh, least bounding between them. So I hope now you would remember that uh, this is uh, C and G and uh, cytosine and guanine make triple bond or we call them strong bases and uh, bases adenine and thymine make weak bond and W stands here for the weak uh, bases. So um, here, as you see, would be strong. In place of uh, S here, we can put uh, where the, for example, uh, cytosine or guanine. And uh, in place of the W, we can put uh, adenine or thymine. So uh, when we have, as you see, uh, N, N stands here for the any base, so we can put um, thymine, adenine, guanine, or cytosine. The same is true for the last two bases, so thymine, adenine, guanine, and cytosine. Thymine, adenine, guanine and cytosine. Now the only letter left that you probably don't know, Y stands for pyrimidine. So we have purines and pyrimidines. So which of these four bases purines and which are pyrimidines? As you remember, some bases make a double ring and some bases make a single ring. So how to memorize uh, one more uh, mnemonic technique. I hope you also would uh, remember it for the rest of your life. 
it is very easy. So just think about these two words. Purin is a short word and permidin is much longer word. So now make uh, a note for yourself that long word stands for the uh, base with only one ring. This is uh, maybe not very logical to you, but actually this is easy to memorize. In other words, we can call uh, Parmedinis cut version of the Purines. Purines with two rings, bases with two rings. And as you see here, we have C and T. We can connect these two letters as cut, cut version. So C and T would make only one ring and uh, adenine and guanine would make bases with two rings. And such base pairing allows that uh, double-stranded DNA would have even Ys on all lengths of the double-stranded DNA. So, once again, cut, C and T would have only one ring. So, uh, Y stands for pyrimidines and this is where the C or T. So, where the cytosine or zymine. So, now when we know uh, all the possible bases then uh, can take places here. So, we can consider this is free uh, place that can be taken whether by uh, zymine or adenine or for example cytosine or zymine or any of the four bases here for the last two uh, bases and here we also have four variants here and two variants here. So now how to calculate uh, uh, total number of the possible variants. This is very easy to calculate but first I want to explain what is the consensus sequence is. So as you see the first uh, four bases would be the same in all the variants possible. We call this conservative uh, fragment or conservative basis and this base here that is guanine also conserved here but uh, in different strands that would be uh, homologous to this strand uh, would have different bases in these places. In some variants uh, there can be choice between four bases, in some variants there can be choice uh, between only two bases. And when we have for example tens or hundreds of different uh, fragments that would be homologous to this fragment, we can build consensus sequence. So we can show some bases that is uh, conservative and uh, we can show some uh, bases that is not conservative uh, like here, any base can be put here but some would be some kind of uh, variant of conservancy because as you see not any base can be put here but only certain bases can be found here. So how we are going to calculate number of uh, variants possible this is very easy so as you see only one variant possible here, one variant possible here, one here and one here. But here we have two variants, four variants here, one variant here and two variants here, two variants here, two variants here, four variants here and four variants here. And now everything we have to do is just multiply all these variants. Of course when we multiply one by one we are going to get one. So this won't produce any variants. I just want to show you uh, with different color but those, that, uh, those positions that we may have different choices 
we may have uh, different uh, variants these positions would generate uh, different variants of this consensus sequence so we multiply 2 by 4 that would generate 8 different variants and uh, this position wouldn't produce any variance to us and next position would produce variance and all the rest so basically now we just have to multiply all these numbers shown in red because those that is conservative wouldn't affect our calculations and our answer would be that 1024 variants exist that we can build using this consensus sequence. I would say that uh, to solve this problem uh, manually would be a laborative task, but if you would have least uh, number, for example 100 or 200 uh, different variants, you probably can uh, solve this problem without writing any computer program by using fork line method and uh, this is just a simple example so as you remember the first uh, four bases are the same but uh, the fifth position uh, we may have whether cytosine or we may have uh, guanine so this is fork line method and then we on the next position have four different variants of the bases. This can be thymine, adenine, guanine and cytosine, thymine, adenine, guanine and cytosine. So I don't have much space here, but uh, you understand the idea how to solve this problem using for Klein method. But as I said, 1024 variants would be too much even for this simple method but if you would have for example five six seven bases with uh, not so many different uh, variants you would be able to solve such problem very easily manually and my last comment would be that here where we have thymine in uh, mRNA or in just RNA we would have uracil here so we can find adenine and thymine cytosine and guanine in DNA but in uh, RNA thymine would be substituted with uh, uracil and uracil also would help us to remember which uh, bases are pyrimidines or cut versions of the uh, basis we just have to put u here so as you see now we have cut so these three bases cytosine uracil and thymine would make bases with one ring we call them pyrimidines and purines would have uh, bases with two rings and only two bases has two rings this is adenine and guanine and we call them purines and this is all for today thank you for attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye